Why does everything after 2020 feels like the end of the world? Personally, for me, it always feels depressing, stressful, and anxious and sad post 2020. Nothing's been the same since that damn gorilla died. Because we have too much faith in our leaders who consistently put us in a worse position day by day. Because we are glued to these devices that vibrate and beep every minute and tell us things to make us divisive and angry. Turn the phone and computer off. Spend a day out there in the real world and talk to some strangers and be out in the community. It's a beautiful world out there with a lot of wonderful people. Change the year from 2020 to 2001 and you'd be closer to the mark. TBF it's felt like the end of the world for everyone since like 2000 BCE. Perception problem. Stop paying so much attention to the news. And especially social media. There are too many people that profit from making you feel that way. And none of them feel bad about it. Too much internet. I'm about to go have dinner and drink with friends. Same shit from 10 years ago. Life is just life. Because you're watching an empire in decline. It's all downhill from here baby. If you study history it'll give you some much needed perspective. Trump for example. Has a middle school student's grasp of history. So everything and everyone is either the best thing or the worst thing to him. Perspective is key. In the USA Trump destroyed our government institutions emo. Those pillars of democracy. We also have other global problems I've never seen prior. It's hard to separate what's actually real and what's just a collection of various biases are. Perception and memory is much more sensitive to negative things. And news and especially social media tends towards outrage and shock and lifting up the most awful things for more engagement and clicks. You're too online. Because you weren't around in the 40s. I've been avoiding the news and social media for over a year. There is a sort of stigma around being ignorant on current events. But it has brought more peace to my life than I can describe. I'm no longer worried or sad about things outside of my realm of influence. Honestly, I feel like it's because of social media and how much using the internet has become a part of daily life. We now are connected with thousands of traumas, horrors, and violence right at our fingertips every second of every day we are on social media. Even if you aren't using the internet to look up current events, there is a 90 chance you will stumble upon a news article ad about the latest mass shooting or get a YouTube charity ad of a starving child crying. Also, we just had a massive pandemic and our society still doesn't know how to cope with the trauma from that. Because the lunatics were allowed to run the asylum for four years US wise and basically opened a Pandora's box of all the stupid crap that's been bubbling under the radar for years. The GOP decided it wasn't bad at first but now they are finding out they can't put it all back in the box, so to speak. Sorry you feel that way. 2020 is just a bad memory for me. This subreddit has become a rant section. This isn't a question. There's not even a. It's just a person statement. That said. The world is fine. Best time to be alive in human history. Enjoy it. Too much news. Nobody clicks on good news. Spoiler it's always like that. 2008, 2009, G, F, C, 2000, 9, 1, 1, Gulf War, rinse repeat. Political rhetoric has taken an absolute nosedive. And there also seems to be a massive shift in content toward bait and just angering people. I've read that Facebook's algorithm is literally designed to predict how long you tend to stay in your feed. And then put insightful or bait content in strategically to piss you off because making people angry drives engagement. We basically live in a rage economy right now.
We've realized that our sense of security is false. Maybe a mix of that and PTSD. Pandemics and insurrections can make things seem pretty bleak. The world is always like this and all we can do is keep moving forward and spending our time doing what we enjoy. It just feels that way now because most people here are probably in that 1828 age range and this is the first couple major crisis they have faced. You can basically go back in history and every decade has something major going on around the world. I think 2020 was sort of a simultaneous awakening for everyone about how many problems there are in modern society as well as simultaneously being faced with how vulnerable it is. Add in all that time we got to sit and just stew in our thought bubbles? Honestly, I'm surprised we're not more fucked. There was a period in June of 2020 that felt really electric. Both good and bad. Like, something was going to happen. I'm realizing more and more how much that time period affected my psyche. And I imagine I'm not alone in that. So TLDR. Shit was whack. Confirmation bias. That's all. The world has been ending in fire, warfare, and plague for the last 20,000 years. We simply must deal with each day as it comes. Because you're mature enough to pay attention to the things happening around the world. People felt the same way in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, oh, 10s. That's because it is the end of the world. Hope this helps. We're living in the wrong timeline. Harambee's murder shouldn't have happened. Here's the deal. Our liberal democracy has always had to fight against religious conservatism. For four years, our president was a darling of religious conservatives. But he was ill prepared for the job. And not really interested in serving the role properly anyway. He was narcissistic and mean spirited. He infected the country. Everything he touches dies. 2024 will decide whether he kills the country off entirely or not. 1. Social media and the 24-hour news cycle are blasting information into our faces 24-7. And the the information that gets the most engagement i.e. advertising dollars is negative. Information. You're simply exposed to so much more than previous generations. 2. The climate crisis is beginning to accelerate and affect us in noticeable ways. This will continue and will continue to escalate for the rest of our lives. We are definitely closer to the end of the world today than we were in 2020. Donald Trump. It's all a distraction. A war is brewing. A war that will ultimately change the face of humanity and everything associated with it. The powers of the world are creating these petty smoke screens to distract us from it. 2020 was the turning point of no return. The Mayans knew the script ran out in 2012 and everything's been running with no plan ever since. Do you recall the mid-80s? It was the low before 90s. It's going to get worse before it gets better. I'm guessing another two years of shite. Before social media you had some time between shit storms to forget about the problems in the world. And just live your life in your little town with the people you know personally. Now social media constantly reminds you how shitty everything is. If you live in America you'll be fine. The world was worse even 20 years ago. A lot of crises especially in the West. A few of them quite manufactured. Ask those super rich if they really feel like it's the end of the world. Of course not. There's never been a better time for them. Not sure what you're talking about, this past year has been fantastic. 